Rancho Santa Fe Fire Protection District Training Division presents Firefighting Fundamentals, Residential Vertical Ventilation. In this video, we will cover all basic aspects of residential ventilation. This includes the role of the Sawyer and of the Sounder. We will start with position basics. Residential ventilation on roof operations consists of a minimum of two personnel. The firefighter shall be in full structural firefighting PPE with SCBA on air when on roof and radios on the correct channel. The Sawyer should have a chainsaw running with the chain brake on with a scabbard and axe recommended. The Sounder should have a tick, a light, and a sounding tool. The Sounder sounds their way onto the roof with a sounding tool, usually a rubbish hook. The Sounder is responsible for coordinating over the radio with interior crews, communicating radio benchmarks to the IC, and is the designated safety officer on the roof. Notice the sounder firmly sounding in front of themselves, left, right, center, trying to identify structural members and ensure roof integrity. The path of travel is along low bearing walls, the peak of the roof, and on structural members, roof rafters. Over the radio, the sounder gives the first benchmark to IC on roof. IC on roof. The sounder sets the path of travel, Sawyer following, as the sounder ensures roof stability and a safe working area. The sounder and Sawyer should keep a safe working distance from one another and should maintain situational awareness and safety at all times. Once the area where the hole would be cut is located, the sounder feels for structural members with a rubbish hook and if possible, gives the Sawyer an idea on their location. The sounder designates where the hole will be cut and coordinates with interior crews prior to cutting. While the cuts are taking place, the sounder maintains situational awareness and constantly assesses the overall situation safety and reading the roof and the smoke. Notice here how the sounder keeps the rubbish hook back and hooks down to indicate the roof line and also maintains buffer space between itself and the Sawyer. Roof ventilation should be done in a coordinated effort with interior crews attacking the fire. This coordination, which takes place over the radio, is important. When the hole is finished, the sounder ensures the integrity of the roof, which indicates the location for the Sawyer to stand. The sounder communicates with IC and coordinates with interior crews prior to louvering the hole and punching through the ceiling. Benchmark number two, hole is cut. I see, hole is cut. The sounder louvers the hole, then turns the rubbish hook to punch through the ceiling. They should balance their weight so that they are not leaning their body into the hole. Communication should take place to ensure the hole is effective and interior crews are experiencing improved condition. Once confirmation is received that the hole is effective, the sounder leads the way off the roof in the same fashion that they entered. Upon exiting the roof with all personnel accounted for, the sounder communicates the final benchmark to IC. Benchmark number three, off roof. IC, off roof. The Sawyer uses the chainsaw, traveling with the chain brake on at all times when not performing cuts. They follow the lead from the sounder, perform ventilation cuts, and use safe cutting practices including proper footwork and not cutting across their body. Cut number one, ID cut. At a 45 degree angle, the Sawyer goes into the roof. The Sawyer straightens the saw using the top of the saw bar, goes towards egress and stops at the first rafter. Without taking the saw out, the Sawyer starts cut number two, the head cut. The Sawyer stays in line and cuts away from the rafter, away from egress. When the middle rafter is reached, it is rolled. The Sawyer stops at the third rafter. The depth of the saw bar should be just enough to cut through roofing material and identify rafters. Too little and the rafters will not be easily identified. Too deep and ducting, plumbing, or wiring can create problems. Ideally, the bar depth is not more than six inches deep. Also, it should be noted that chainsaw is operating at full throttle when placing it into roofing material and while operating. Cut number three, parallel cut, bar side. With just enough bar depth to get through the roofing material, a parallel cut is made inside the third rafter, farthest from egress. Crossing corners, this should be cut four feet down. Cut number four is a bottom cut. Maintaining foot placement on rafters, making a bottom cut forming a C shape with the opening towards egress. See your way out. Pay close attention to the firefighter's footing. Notice that the firefighter maintains foot placement on rafters as he moves towards egress. The middle rafter is the most compromised and the firefighter spends the least amount of time on the middle rafter 
as he moves towards egress, maintaining foot placement on rafters at all times. Cut number five is a parallel cut egress side. This finishes the 4x4 hole. Notice that during the operation, the firefighter never stepped into the hole or cut across his body. When finished, the chain break is set. The chainsaw is safely carried far back with a saw on the downward side while traversing the pitch roof. Now that the position basics are covered, we will go into full sequences. Note that this video purposefully depicts generic radio communications. The focus is to show the skill in its entirety, including radio benchmarks. Full radio communication is beyond the scope of this basic, skill-based instructional video. You will now see the entire skills in full, uninterrupted format. 5 Cut Center Raptor Louver I see. I'm not. Extending the hole with construction. Interior clear. You have lit. Extending the hole against construction.
In the final portion of this video, we will go over cutting off a roof ladder, courtesy of North Zone footage. Cutting on a steep pitched or tile roof may require usage of a roof ladder. In this skill, the front person sounds and cuts. When the location for the hole is reached, a tool swap takes place. The rubbish hook is handed back on the outside. Next is a foothold with a firefighter's axe as depicted. The saw is then handed forward, bar back, chain break on, on the inside. Another option for the foothold is with the rubbish hook as depicted. This is done by the rear person, the safety. When the hole is ready to be cut, the firefighter carefully steps out into the area. This area has already been sounded. An ID cut is made to try to locate a rafter. This ID cut is towards the ladder, being careful not to hit the ladder. You may or may not identify a rafter. The remaining sequence is done in the same order as a five cut center rafter louver, ending with a parallel cut egress side. Once the hole is complete, a reverse tool swap takes place. Saw, back, on the inside, break on, rubbish hook up on the outside. Be sure to remove the footing tool prior to punching through. And once successful, crews exit the roof. This concludes firefighting fundamentals, residential ventilation. Train often, train smart, train for excellence. Thank you.